Hello, this is Kyle Candillion from RoachCrossing.com. You may also know me as Zephyr or Zephamp, depending on what forum you are on. And for the first video for my new YouTube channel, uh, I will be taping the courtship and mating of one of the not so commonly kept blabberish species. These are Blabberus atropos, uh, no common name as of yet. So uh, these are virgin females that I, I have been keeping isolated and I will be choosing for whichever ones have the, the most uh, dark uh, elytral markings and uh, bandings as well as the pronotum mark. You can see there's some individuals here that resemble Dyscoidalis more than they resemble the Atropos. So uh, those ones will not be used as my breeders, but I'm going to put them together so they have a chance to mate anyways. Here we have two very eagle, eager, excuse me, eager males. Uh, selected for wing pattern and pronotum markings and um, I put them together really fast while I was separating them out of their holding containers and I just saw this crazy quick display of receptiveness from the females and just eagerness of displaying to the females from the males so this should happen very quickly and I will try to uh, annotate what's going on uh, as fast as I can, but uh, as you can see, they're, the males are pretty rowdy. So I'll pick one of these guys and see how this goes. So you got the male in the container. He's, you know, just sort of relaxing. Let's uh, let's find a nice female for him. Here we are, and this is a virgin female, uh, probably within like um, a month or two of of maturing, or w w matured about a month or two ago. So uh, there's the male. He begins. Uh, pumping uh, out presumably pheromones and raising his uh, wings in order to attract the female. Uh, females and up, oh, he's displaying. Uh, right now, um, he's secreting a candy-like, to the roaches, substance um, from his turgites. And this acts as a, a sort of a lure to the female, who is not being very uh, receptive at the moment. But um, So he's going to keep doing this until she notices. Up, oh, and she's perking up. looking over there. Now what this does is it, it lures the female onto his back. Um, assuming she picks up on what he's uh, trying to get across here. Well, he's, uh, he's very very determined here. Come on girly. Yep, see, there he is displaying. Oh, and she's climbing onto his back. Oh, this is exciting. She's going to start feeding on the, the secretion. Now, what he does very... Oh, he got her. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. What he's trying to do is get her to crawl as far onto his back as possible so that while she's distracted feeding and the substance that he's secreting actually has some uh, minorly sedative properties so the female kind of gets a little bit... Uh, <laughs> a little out of it, doesn't know what's going on in a way. Um... But he tries to uh, extend his phalomere, it's a, it's a hook-shaped organ um, that the male uses to grab hold of um, a sort of a, it's sort of a lock and key system, wherein the, the male has the key, the female has the lock. He tries to slip that into the female while she's feeding on his secretions. And um, once it's in, he can then uh, pull forward and this will get the female off his back so she gets uh, she uh, gets cut short during feeding and um, then they continue to mate and that will last uh, could last anywhere from 10 minutes to 10 hours depending on the species but this is a primary means of reproduction for many species of cockroach um, species like hissers and the panestia and macropanestia species uh, actually, the male just backs straight up into the female. She doesn't need to feed on anything from the secretions. Um, to the extent of my knowledge, I don't think that hissing cockroaches uh, have any of those secretions. But um, the only other species uh, that that I've read about that has a different mating strategy than these two is uh, Pycnoscelis indicus, which is the, the parent species for Pycnoscelis cernimensis. And um, it, it starts off... Uh, kind of like this, only the male will crawl onto the female's back and will connect himself from there. So that's that's the only 
one of the only other species known to have that sort of behavior other than this and the, the other strategies. It should be noted that the backing up into the female uh, seems to be displayed by uh, large roaches that um, that display a, a bit of neoteny or penomorphy as uh, Dr. Lewis M. Roth called it where they retain juvenile characteristics such as winglessness or um, uh, less numbers of individual uh, uh, cells in the uh, their developed eyes which are all signs that there's a retention of juvenile characteristics so yeah he's gonna keep displaying let me see what happens if I add another female Let's see who here is looking nice here we go how about you and maybe she'll be more receptive oh, 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 oh. doing the same thing as the first female oh, there she goes She's interested, maybe, maybe not. Um, and mm, definitely not. <laughs> so to try and expedite things, I'm going to add another male. The other male, and see how that goes. Oh, uh, what the heck, I'll add all the females. Lots of fun for those guys. So you can see the males are smaller, more slender, a little bit lighter colored. And hopefully from this uh, accumulation we'll get some mating behavior somewhere. <laughs> we got both males displaying very actively. So. Somebody's got to do something eventually. Oh, oh. Poor guys, they just just like in humans, the guys try as hard as they can to impress the females, but you know, it just doesn't work sometimes. I mean, look at that display. I mean, who wouldn't want want him? <laughs> and of course, there seem to be some minor variations in the plan depending on the male. Um, you can see some of them just trying to get right in there, almost displaying a, a Pycnoscalus like uh, reproductive strategy. Um, it's definitely a very interesting and complex ca process and there, there are all sorts of other factors that go into it including like the females have a certain amount of control over uh, what males they mate with. Oh. And uh, what's funny is that sometimes uh, one male <laughs> will try to uh, seduce another male and the other male will start feeding and then the two of them will hook up and they can they just start flailing around because <laughs> two keys being uh, put together is the, the best way to say it so it doesn't quite work and I've seen it with Blabber's Fusca I haven't seen it with any other species yet but it's it's funny and uh, at the same time kind of sad <laughs> so I'll leave these guys at where they are and I'm sure once I add them to their permanent enclosure they will uh, they'll settle down and eventually start mating but uh, basically it's back to whoops <laughs> back to back and um, should see babies there's a female in my hand there she goes should see babies within about about 70 ish days from after they lock up and maybe even sooner than that since these females have had uh, a decent amount of time already for their reproductive organs to get into uh, producing uh, eggs so and uh, as stated earlier this is Kyle Kandilian from Roach Crossing and happy roaching everybody